Welcome. Uh, it's uh, mid summer, and uh, yeah, I'm on holiday actually. I've been away a couple of days, took the boat and uh, had cruising around in the north of Sweden, uh, visiting some friends and visiting some really good friends on um, a camp in Ardjeplog in Mellanström. A couple of days, so yeah, I've been jumping around, and uh, soon it's time to me to go home. But of course, I want to do a summer video with you today. And what's better in the summer than uh, to catch some perch? So uh, I will try to do a short video, uh, having a fun day out, and uh, showing you some some rods and reels from Akuma, talking a little about perch fishing and how I search for perch and hopefully catch them. Uh, some lures from Storm, some lures from Rapala, and uh, yeah, a little bit of everything today. So I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get started. So we are actually already in our first spot and this is a spot we have chosen for, it's a lot of current and uh, I know uh, we have been seeing a lot of perch here, they are standing and lurking on some white fish just, just outside on the drop off and the carrot comes and it pushes a lot of a lot of bait fish and food for the perch to feed on so it's a seven between seven and five meter deep uh, and I want to fish really slow and when you want to fish really slow uh, you're choosing a lighter jig head so you will fish the lure quite a long time in the water column gives the perch a really long time to if they are active and swimming in the mid water they will have time to strike it on the way down and uh, then we will just slowly jig it on the bottom and see because if the perch are not super active they're usually standing on the bottom and um, it's a lot of stones here also so hopefully hopefully they are active anyway i'm choosing one of this year's favorite of mine uh, this is the boom shad eight centimeter it has been working really well for me this year uh, and in Sweden, in Netherlands uh, for everyone who knows me knows that I had amazing fishing in Netherlands on the small boom shad 8 centimeter. so this is, a, this is a lure that I fish with confidence uh, and I really like it we will rig this up uh, what can you say, when you're choosing your perch equipment, perch rod if you're a beginner and searching for a rod and reel to to fish with I would say to search a reel that is uh, not too stiff and not too soft something in the middle so you will have a range for the really small lures and not maybe the biggest lures but in something in between I fish the Psycho Perch and uh, this is the 4 to 24 gram uh, I think it's it's Maybe the 7 to 32, there is two options I would go for if you're a beginner, 4 to 24 or uh, the 7 to 32. These two rods you will cover basically all of your jigging for, for perch or smaller predators. And I'm using the rod together with the Helios SX from Akuma. Uh, it's one of the favorite reels of mine. Uh, of course it has all the features of the spinning reel that Akuma has. Uh, it's a light reel, it feels really good in my hand. Uh, I'm using 0.13 millimeters, so I can spool on maybe 120 up to 140 meters if I want. I usually just spool on maybe 100 meters, that's enough for me. Um, but yeah, it's a saltwater approved, so you can use it anywhere in the world. It has the cyclonic flow rotor, as uh, many of the spinning reels from Akuma have. So it pushes out a lot of water when you are fishing it, so it keeps the reel really dry. But uh, yeah, I'm rigged up. I'm excited to start the fishing. We will, uh, I will set up some GoPro and uh, catch the perch. Let's go! <laughs> We 
made a we made a, a quick move to the new spot. It's only 100 meter from where we started, and we yeah we saw some some schools of perch. I don't know the size of them. I think they are really small, uh, but it's still perch. And on a on a day yeah on a day like this, it's really funny. Oh, I think they are super small. They're really biting just in the paddle. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, it's super small. <laughs> but it, it's so fun. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, our first... Oh, take it easy, take it easy. I will unhook you, my friend. <laughs> the first perch of today. Look! <laughs> Seal! When they are in that size, uh, once again, it's really good with a sensitive rod. And the Psycho Perch uh, has a feature uh, that's called the UFR. Uh, the UFR rod tip. And you can find this um, rod tip in many of Okuma's rods, uh, which makes it um, really, really sensitive on the top, but you still have a good responsive blank through the whole uh, through the whole uh, rod. So it's really nice uh, when you when the fish are not super active and just striking real hard so you can see every little uh, registration in the UFR top so it's really nice let's see if we can catch one more <laughs> hopefully a little more bigger oh, yep yeah. yeah it's the same size it's uh, crazy ah, we will give oh, we will give this up oh. <laughs> In Sweden we call this the, the Thousand Brothers and uh, it's only... Oh yeah, yeah, here we have one. <laughs> only, only baby perch. <laughs> Come here, woo! <laughs> this is a fun, fun fishing to take out the kids. Mm. Maybe not, maybe not for the sport fishing guys but look at those colors they are still super 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 colorful and beautiful even they are really small Mwah. see you yeah let's give this maybe 10 more minutes and we will continue the search but it's fun up again it's it's almost in uh, it's almost in every cast <laughs> but they are they are the same size I wish my daughter was with me now because she would love this she would love this summer perch fishing small jigs small beautiful perch <laughs> yeah it's nice see you this is what happens when you catch a thousand perch they are eating up our paddles <laughs> we decided to move area uh, we only find the small ones uh, but my next tip for you uh, if you're a beginner especially if you're a beginner at perch fishing out with the kids and the family uh, a quick and really effective way to to find the perch is to make old classic trolling uh, light light lures light gear and shallow trolling just holding the rod and reel in your hand this is a super efficient way to to target and locate uh, the perch as soon as you get a bite you just uh, stop make a mark if you have a sonar you just make a mark on your map or maybe if you, if you don't have a sonar maybe throw in a, a bottle with a stone on, uh, and a rope something so you can mark the area then you can switch to jig again and start to jig the area and see if there's bigger perch in the area. So this is our tactics now and we will do it for maybe one hour. So we will go for, for light trolling. As soon as we get a bite, we will stop, make a mark and try to jig on the bottom and see if we can get contact 
in any big patch. So let's go. For the trolling, I'm using the Shad Wrap Shad Deep, a favorite color of mine. I'm going for some bright colors in this water. And uh, it's because it has a really nice action in the water. Uh, it goes down to maybe one and a half, maybe two meters, depending on the speed uh, we will have on the trolling. But uh, we will have one on one on each side. And uh, yeah, this is so effective. And in this water, there are actually are some trout. So maybe we will catch a bonus bonus trout on this one uh, you never know and then we will have a fight i can promise you and we are closing in on closing in on a deeper edge i think there is some perch here actually and uh, sometimes if you want you can just speed it up speed up the road and just give it some slack line because the shad rap shad is uh, yeah we have some perch here i think this we will stop I will show you how it looks and we will make an anchor and we will actually jig this area and uh, this is also a really effective way to to find the perch uh, to get a sonar um, it doesn't have to be the biggest one and the most expensive one as long as you can see what what is happening uh, on the bottom it's really good and there was a lot of a lot of perch in that school I don't know 10 12 15, 20 maybe, but we are on the trolling again, searching for new, uh, new areas, and uh, yeah, in this way we are uh, covering a lot of water. We uh, can see everything in the sonar, and we have the chance to get st oh, strikes. Wow! Did you see that? <laughs> Come here, little fella. <laughs> and uh, my next tip for you: summer perch fishing is uh, if you want to be secure to not stuck yourself on the really sharp points of the of the perch you can always uh, put one thumb yeah look at this one nice for trolling look at this perch put one thumb inside of the mouth and just press it gently down and in this way you don't you don't touch the fence. It's really, the perch are really sharp here on the gills and also, of course, on the points. A nice one. We just made anchor here and uh, we will start to jig. I made a mark on the sonar on the map. Nice perch, nice colors. Wow, we'll let this one go. See you, buddy. <laughs> Guys, we are hooked up with a better perch. What a strike on the rip and wrap. I just found an area with a lot of underwater grass. It's four meters and a lot of grass and just on the edge down to deeper water on the rip and wrap, bam, a nice perch. Hello, my little friend. <laughs> well, I will let down the camera. Ah, uh, look at this one. Hello, this is a 35 maybe 38 uh, evening is getting closer and uh, this is when you catch the big ones I guess and hopefully it can only get better than this nice one I will let this one go a couple of hours more of fishing and hopefully we will manage to maybe snatch that 40 centimeter plus perch that's my goal today and we have seen some big echoes but they are just standing still on the bottom and even no even when we are trying to with small lures and uh, rattling lures to to get the bite we don't get the reaction
So maybe the evening will uh, will uh, set something off. Hopefully, uh, I'm happy. This day has been uh, pff, what a weather. Small perch, strike here, strike there. It's uh, super nice. And uh, hope you had some some great tip. I mean, with the trolling, it's it's a it's a really good way to to locate uh, the perch in a really fast way. As soon as you get a bite, just uh, put on an anchor and uh, start to jig around that place. Uh, that's what we've been doing today and it's working. Um, I like, if you have the ability, I like to have pre-rigged uh, uh, rods with me. Not everybody has uh, different kinds of rod, but if you can, it's a really good choice. And if you're searching for a new rod or, and a combo, just uh, throw all your questions in the comments below and I will answer it for you. Uh, what have been what we're fishing with today is the Helios SX, as I said. Uh, this rod uh, is the Helios SX rod also. So it's a pure Helios combo. And uh, also for small jigs, it's a softer rod. So it's real nice if you like a, a more softer rod with a deeper action in it. It's real nice. Uh, when we went for the trolling with the Shad Rap Shad, uh, the deep version, uh, we used the Psycho Perch. Uh, the 7 to 32 gram, so a little more backbone to it. This is with the Epixor 30 model. Uh, also has all the features that Okuma Spinning Reel has. And the last one that I've been using today, it's also the Psycho Perch, the 4 to 24. And uh, with the Helios SX, I have two rods with me today with the Helios SX. And uh, I've been using with a 6 centimeter rip and wrap. So yeah, I have three combos with me today. It's easy to have everything pre-rigged with three different kind of lures. So when I stop at one place, I can just move around really quick and don't have to change, actually change the lure when I'm inside. But um, yeah, I think we are on to something in this area. So uh, let's continue and hopefully we'll get that first 40 centimeter. Let's go. What is this? I thought I thought the night would bring 40 40 centimeter perch, not 40 centimeter pikes. A final uh, strike in the sunset. Ah, it's a nice perch, not the biggest one, but I think it will call it a wrap for today. And look at those creatures, super nice. So let's. Uh, Release this beauty. Back she goes. Next time, bring your grandma and grandma. Guys, amazing day. I had super fun, relaxed day. And this is what fishing is for me. Trying, trying different stuff, uh, different gear different methods, lures, and just have fun days on water, meeting friends and colleagues, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, uh, it's been a pleasure, I hope you can take some tip with you in your perch fishing with your children, family, and all, I will leave all the links in the description for all the gears, and if there's anything as usual, just text me or leave the comments in in the section below and I will answer them so uh, stay tuned and uh, give us give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next movie bye